Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's been a long time since I did a thrift look, so that's what today's video is going to be all about. It all started with my stepdad who gave me some legs from an old chair that he was getting rid of. He was gonna throw it in the garbage, took it apart, and then told my mom, can Katza do something with these legs? And so I immediately got inspired and decided to use them and come up with something from those legs. I end up getting creative with other pieces that I had that were sort of lying around the house that I had gone thrifted and I hadn't come around to doing them. So it gave me an excuse. It pushed me to do more of the thrift flips that I had. So I did three thrift flips for you. And I'm gonna start off with my first one. You saw this in the fall front porch video that I recently done. I was going to maybe use it in the front porch, but I didn't end up using it. So it was one of those that I was gonna maybe stain. So I decided to add a little catsiness to the stool. I think it turned out so beautiful. I am obsessed with it. I love it so much. I'm going to show you the before and then the after and then let me know what you think. So let's start off with the bench first and then we're going to move our way into the other thrift lips. So enjoy. Moving on to my second thrift flip, I told you that my stepdad gave me some old legs that he had from a chair that he was using. So when he gave those to me, I immediately saw an ottoman, a sort of ottoman, but I wanted to give it a Scandinavian feel and I thought it was perfect for fall, winter, cozy vibes. It had these mid-century legs, so I immediately envisioned an ottoman. I wish that he had two of those same legs because it would have been like perfect to have a pair of them, but 
it's okay. I can actually maybe even put it in my beauty room as my little ottoman to sit on where my beauty station is, or I might be putting it downstairs in the basement when family comes over and we're, we're a lot of people, so we always need more seating and I think they're perfect. So it's not the biggest thrift flip, but it still made a huge difference and it's crazy when you think that you might get rid of something that you can totally take it apart, reuse it for different things, get creative, have fun and play around with it. You can end up with something original, fun and beautiful and it can be good on a budget. to my last DIY you know I love my bowls and I had a bowl that I never used it was a beautiful bowl I thought it was lacking a little something so of course I had to bali it beach it up and use some of my seashells I love using seashells on wicker baskets or anything wicker really I feel it adds a little bit of beachy vibes to it so I end up using a bowl that was being used for nothing it was in my DIY room I wanted to create something that I thought was going to be beautiful and make it that I want to use it throughout the house as a decorative accent piece so let's jump right into this last thrift flip
that is it. That is my three thrift lips. I think that they came out pretty good considering. Now let's jump right into the whole outfit. I'm going to start off with my shirt. My shirt, look at this. It's so pretty. It has like little pearls on the side and obviously a puff sleeve. You guys know I love my balloon sleeves. <laughs> I think it's so cute and girly. And I end up getting this at Zara. It's a simple white shirt, but it has little details. And for me, little details, you know, make a piece unique. So I got this shirt at Zara. A lot of my necklaces are from Koakaya. Um, these were actually new pieces that were posted maybe I'd say a month ago. I just want to show you how beautiful. Let me get closer like this. So there's this one and then there's this one like this. So pretty much everything here is Koakaya. So there you go. On my rings, I usually, my go-to rings that I normally wear, I am wearing barrel jeans right now. <laughs> I know, it's one of those love or hate things when it comes to barrel jeans, but I love them. I think that they're girly, they're, they fit everybody's body type. I love them. So I'm wearing barrel jeans. I got these from ASOS. I know they have some at Free People, but I got mine at ASOS. I think I got them last year. And then my little bow, I end up getting this little guy at a sort of, I want to say dollar store, but it's not really a dollar store. It was like a dollar store in plus. And I thought it was so cute. And it has like little rhinestones. If you're seeing it, it goes with a whole feminine vibe. I think I feel like a little cheerleader in it. <laughs> but anyway, so that is the whole outfit. I'm keeping it simple today. Nothing special. Very simple, but still very girly and cute. So that is it for the outfit. Thank you for your thumbs up your comments, all of that. I say it every time. I love you so much. Next video, I'm going to start getting into the Christmas videos. I know we're still in fall, but I want you to get inspired before the Christmas season comes. So I'm going to be putting a couple of videos. You know, Christmas is my favorite time of year. So I am so excited to start. I have so many ideas when it comes to Christmas and I cannot wait to share them with you. So next video, actually, I wanted to do a thrift haul show you some of the pieces that I got recently because I went thrift shopping and I got some amazing pieces and then it's going to be Christmas. Christmas, all Christmas, Christmas everything. So for the next couple of videos, all Christmas. Ornaments, Christmas tree, centerpieces, little sewing ideas that I cannot wait to share because I did a sort of prototype. I wanted to make sure that what I had envisioned was going to come alive and I cannot be happier. I can't wait to share them. So it's going to be Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Okay, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Mwah.